Don't even want anyone to get hurt here. So I'm just gonna go put him back inside of his tub. Oh, he's gonna strike at me now. Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin here and I hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about a topic that not too many people know about. Today I walked over here to the breeding side of the facility and we have a lot of the males out breeding right now. And I started hearing a really weird noise, almost sounded like a banging noise. I know there's no rats in here, so no snakes should be striking at rats. I went down to this bin over here and looked at one of the last males that we paired. So this is a pastel ivory female. She's a 2015, so she's bred a lot of clutches for us, and we're 100% sure that she is a female. But she's being paired to our champagne, and she asphalt special. And I know that this male tends to get really fired up and just likes to strike, and there he is already at the top of the bin, ready to strike. So let's see if I can get him back in there. And uh, basically all the banging that I was hearing is them fighting and as you can see right now he is all tensed up, she is too, and they're kind of pushing each other. This is what happens when sometimes when a female rejects a male or the male rejects the female when the snakes are breeding. They're going to start fighting like what you're seeing here and they'll actually thrash each other and if you have a male who's very small and a female like this size, you could definitely go and injure the male. So you definitely do not want to pair a female with a male who's very small, especially if the female's over 2,000 grams. So I highly advise you breeding your males around 500 grams or higher. And if he is 500 grams, breed him to something around 12 to 1,500 grams so he doesn't get crushed inside the breeding process. And usually snakes fight when you have two males inside of a cage in breeding season. So sometimes people go and buy a female Hey, calm down, I'm not a rat. And sometimes people go and buy a female that is actually a male. So definitely when you go and buy a snake, make sure it is the sex that you're purchasing it as when you go and pick it up. We had a banana enchi female that actually turned out to be a male and we put a male in the first week, we actually got a lock between the two. Males can lock with other males, males can lock with females, females cannot lock with females, so no worries there. But the first lock, we thought everything was good, a male and a female locking, everything perfect. But then the second time we went to pair them, we heard a similar thing to what I heard today here with them fighting. And I'm just gonna close them up and we'll see if they fight again and you guys can actually hear it. But we heard a similar thing to them when they were fighting and we went to go and check and sex the female, she turned out to pop two hemipenes out and was a male. And we were a little bit puzzled at first because we had that first lock. It's been about 10 minutes and I just started to hear the banging again and it's been pretty intense. So I'm just gonna go and open up and you guys can definitely hear it. Let's go open up and just see what's going on real quickly. Cause these guys are just being fierce with each other. So we're definitely gonna go switch out the male. I'm gonna go and pull them out right now. Don't even want anyone to get hurt here. So I'm just gonna go put him back inside of his tub. Oh, he's gonna strike at me now, which is right over here. And we actually paired them up yesterday, so don't think they locked. Pretty safe to say. And we're definitely gonna find a new male for this female. So if you do have your snakes fighting or hear some noise inside of your snake room, after pairing your snakes, you might have two males in the tub, or you might have a female rejecting the male, or vice versa. So you might wanna go and switch up that pairing and just double check the sexes on each of the snake so nothing bad happens to your snakes and you get some eggs inside of your clutch. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.